everybody welcome to the 10th video we are already halfway through which is incredible this is 20 day uh, challenge awesome web my name is Tina and today we will be looking into a readability on your web page why is readability important well, imagine that you take time to actually write some article to your blog or uh, some text about your company on your web page and no one is actually going to read it because you didn't follow the basic rules of the readability itself so that people can easily read it on your web page. According to the study by Norman Nielsen Group, people are reading between 20 to 28 percent of the text on your web page. That's insane, right? So it's very, very important to follow the basic readability rules because the people are actually pretty much just scanning your web page. There's a huge difference between the readability on the printed articles and on the articles which are online. For example, on the printed articles or books or whatever, the people are much used to read longer lines and they're more, let's say, patient with it, so they read all the thing. But on the online medias, the people prefer much shorter lines, much less text, and they are, let's say, a little lazy to read, so they just scan it. So we need to consider this when we are writing an article and when we are publishing it on our web pages. What are these basic rules? As I already mentioned, keep it short. Make short sentences, short paragraphs. In this case, people will read it much easily and there's higher probability that they will finish an article you just wrote. Another rule is about the font. You should choose wisely your font. Basically, don't be too creative with it. The people are used to read some fonts and this is the easiest way for them to read it. Yeah? Uh, for example, when you are having the headlines, there, these are the spots where you can be a little more creative and choose some little more crazier fonts, but follow the rules with the writing of the big and small letters, because in this case, people can easily scan it. Yeah? Uh, but on the other side, the article itself, you should use just basic fonts. Don't be too creative. Another rule is about the font size. You know, from the past time, you could saw many, many web pages with such a small letters. You, you were, we were reading it like this, like what is written in there? Don't do this anymore, please. We have a lot of space on the web page. We can, you are not actually going to print the web page. So the bigger, the better, pretty much. The smallest letters you can use, and I'm saying can, just don't ever use smaller, is 16 pixels. Okay, so never ever use smaller than 16 pixels. It's better to actually use bigger. If you are using a smaller letters, you can use it for, for example, description of a picture or graph description or these kind of places. Basic article should not be used smaller letters than 16 pixels. It's also good to consider the age of the people who are visiting your web page or who are reading your blog. Why? Because the older people are, the bigger letters they need. And how you can find it? It's easy. It's in Google Analytics. You just click on uh, demographics, age, and basically you are in there and you can see the age of your visitors on your web page. It's not just about the font size and the font type, it's also about the color. Imagine that you would be reading something in the blue background which would be written in the red color. It's like mission impossible to read it. Yeah? So you need to keep some contrast between the background and the letters. Keep this in mind. That's actually also the reason why the books are on the white pages with the black coloring. Well, not the only one, but... It helps you to read it easily. When I'm talking about the contrast, which is background color and the color of the text, 
I'm not talking just about your articles or about the basic descriptions on your webpage. I'm also talking about the action buttons, the most important ones on your webpage. So make sure that you can read the text which is written in the action button. It's important. Another rule is about the paragraphs and the width of the text. Paragraphs should not be crazy long. Again, you are not writing a book on your web page. You are writing a text for your visitors. So make it short, don't be afraid to hit enter and continue in the next paragraph. It's not that hard. <laughs> and on the other side, we also need to keep in mind what the people are reading. It's about the scanning with their eyes. If you make the, the length of the text too, too wide, it's very hard to read all the thing, all the thing, right? On the other side, if it's like too short, the people are like twitching with their eyes and it's again, super disturbing. So you need to make it in like a normal way, let's say. And it's considered to be between 50 and 65 letters per line. Actually, one of the good examples where you can get inspired is the web page called medium.com. They are actually focusing a lot on the readability of their articles. So go ahead, check that out, get some inspiration from them and use it on your web page. Last but not least from my set of rules is go straight to the point. As we mentioned before, people are lazy to read and they are impatient. They want to know what you want to tell them. So just tell it to them straight away. Readability. Once again, what is it about? First of all, keep it short. Make short sentences, which would be very easy to read. Second of all, your paragraphs should not be crazy long. You are not writing a book. Third of all, do not forget that the size of your font should not be smaller, smaller than 16 pixels. Otherwise, it will be super hard to read it. It could be even bigger. Don't be afraid to use bigger letters. Fourth is uh, the type of font. Don't, don't be too creative to choose crazy, uh, interesting fonts, let's say. For the read best readability, are used the basic fonts pretty much. Um, fifth is about the contrast. Do not play too much uh, between the contrasts. Make it the bigger contrast actually between the background and the letters, the better. And the sixth goes straight to the point. When you are writing about something, tell the people directly what you want to tell them. People are lazy to read. I hope that your web page is readable. If not for 100%, just go ahead and change it. Some parts you might be even able to change within the administration. It could be very, very easy. On the other side, if not, just get the help of your IT developers. It's also very easy. Just type an email, call them or something. You know the process. And just make your web page more readable. Right now we are halfway through with our 20 day uh, web challenge which is incredible and just keep this hard work going on. I will see you in tomorrow in already 11th day and I hope that you will finish it and we will continue within the next 10 days because thanks to that your web page will be much bigger help for you and for your business. So see you tomorrow.